Chicago firefighter shoots and kills a teenager. He says tried to steal his car. Tonight, as police investigate the incident, the grieving family speaks to CBS 2's Charlie DeMar. No! Come on. No! Come on, family of the 17-year-old they identify as Charles Macklin returned to the spot where he was shot and killed by an off-duty Chicago fire lieutenant around 10 a.m. Monday in the North Austin neighborhood. He was starting back to school next week. He was going to be a senior. He was a football player. Police say Macklin jumped into the off-duty lieutenant's already running car on the 1400 block of North Lockwood. Witnesses say it was this Jeep. In fear of being run over, police add that the CFD lieutenant shot Macklin, eventually crashing into this parked car. I don't care what type of uh, badges he had on. He's not above the law. How come he's not locked up? Why is he still sitting in his house and we got to go bury my nephew? He was here very regularly. Marshawn Feltis, a mentor with the Westside Health Authority, says despite previous run-ins with the law, Macklin was active in the mentorship program. Even though he was finding his way, I felt really hopeful. I wouldn't want the nature of this incident to be uh, the banner or the totality for this young man's life. And it is important to note out that that fire department lieutenant is registered and licensed to carry a concealed weapon. And this year, the Chicago Fire Department has seen an increase in the number of carjackings involving teens, which is why they ask you if you are ever approached, if you ever in this similar situation, just to give up your car and do not fight back. Reporting live in the control room tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob. Yeah, good advice there, Charlie. Thank you.